it's funny, bro, because now you got to ask yourself the question: Was there was there one thing that like really ticked them off and he yeah. hated? Because come on, Chris, we know this has been a terrible show for years, man. <laughs> So what does pushing the envelope look like to um, Bro, I'm going to tell you what I think the changing of the raw I'm with each I'm going to tell you what the, what I think the changing of the rating means. First of all, it could it could mean one of two things. One thing would be obviously tremendous that they're not going to do. The second thing they're probably going to do and from my standpoint who cares. Okay? If they're bumping that rating bro from PG uh, PG to TV 14. Okay. The phenomenal thing would be, Chris, they're going to make the Vince allegations part of the storyline. Mm. That would be absolutely tremendous. I would stand up and applaud them because you would need that higher rating in order to get into some of this. Uh. However, my gut tells me because we're just coming off AEW, the blood and guts yeah. pay-per-view, whatever it was. I, I tend to believe they're going to go back to blood in yeah. matches, yeah. which I, I, I don't know who who they, they think that's going to draw. Like, uh, honestly, bro, th th that's why I think they're changing the rating. I think we're going to see more blood in order to compete because – Bro, keep this in mind. Cody Cody just went over to WWE. Hmm. Bro, Cody was one of the guys that bled like a stone. Oh, he was a major bleeder. Exactly. Yeah, so he sure. may have had the conversation with them. Hmm. Oh, yeah, man. Every time we did blood in a match, the numbers rose. I mean, whatever that conversation may be, that's what why I think they changed it. But, my gosh, if they were going to cover Vince's case, it would be phenomenal. Yeah, it would for sure. Talking about – oh, talk that would – resurrect raw for sure absolutely, um, absolutely. And I, I think the tv 14 rating I, I was thinking of that too i thought you know probably more profanity and more blading right yeah yeah So yeah. okay so if there's more profanity and more blading is that going to bring back viewers like no. is that going to bring but more profanity more blading with no storyline still just doesn't mean anything it just no. it, it, it doesn't it, it's not going to elicit more viewers because there's still no buy-in you know, yeah. unless viewers left, like, you know, there's no, there's not a blood profanity. Like, I think I'm going to get out of here. That's not going to happen, right? No. No. So, yeah, I think the TV14 rating is for that. So, even with a TV14 rating and with the news going out as far as, you know, the, 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 the mass email, you know what I mean? You have had an email exchange with Vince, and I know that, you know, we, we have certain parameters when it comes to that but at the same time you know i do think it's important for you on writing with russo to describe just uh writing a uh, booking an episode of raw and how serious it was i know you know you've talked about this before does vince mcmahon watch the product to give you or ed cr critiques during that that attitude era Oh, absolutely. He, he, I, I, I'll put it to you this way, bro. No doubt about it. He was not watching the product as closely as we were. And, and bro, he couldn't. I mean, the guy's running the company. I, I mean, l l let's be honest. He's running every aspect of the company. Me and Ed are zeroing in on the TV show. Yeah. So we, we literally knew more about the television show than, than Vince McMahon did. Yeah. Um, but I, I just, I, I, bro, it just blows me away because how long have we been doing the raw review? Just That's now, you. you're yeah. sending out it like just now. Like, wait a minute, bro. What, what about the last five years? The right. like that was okay with you? I mean, yeah. it's funny, bro, because now you got to ask yourself the question: Was there was there one thing that like really ticked them off and he yeah. hated because come on chris we know this has been a terrible show for years man <laughs> you said five you're being generous i'm, I'm being very generous bro <laughs> yeah. very generous yeah man. raw i mean raw has been a dud <sighs> bro man. i can remember the last thing they did that popped me and you'll remember this bro because you know bro i've been doing russo's brand now for over eight years that means I've watched Raw every week for eight years. Mm -hmm. The last thing that popped me, bro, is I'll never forget it. It was a match with, I think, Miz. I think it was Miz and somebody. They had a lights-out gimmick. 
and Bray Wyatt return. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, they did a lights out and Jericho returned on top of that. Mm -hmm. So like everybody was anticipating the Bray Wyatt thing. Nobody knew Jericho. Bro, literally, Chris, that had to be about seven years ago. Mm -hmm. And that was the last thing that I remember that popped me. Like since then, there hasn't been there hasn't been one thing, bro. I remember that for some reason. I yeah. think because didn't uh, like Jericho become like an honorary Shield member or something like that during, during around that time because it, it was like a uh, 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 no one knew. You know, Jericho had his in and out pop pop ins and pop outs, and I know one of his returns, like he he came out. And I think it was like a, a Wyatt family and Shield feud. And I think Jericho somehow got involved with that or something like that. And I think it was one of his pop. If I if I if I'm getting the timeline correctly of what you're saying, I remember it was yeah. one of that. It could have been something different, but it, I do remember there was something affiliated with that, and like Jericho became like a yeah. honorary Shield yeah, member. They, they were like setting up that Bray was going to be the surprise, and he was. Mm -hmm. And then they had Jericho out of nowhere that nobody. And, and I was like, that was pretty. That was the last time, bro. That they yeah. did anything to pop.